I'm Leah Van Poppel, the Chair of the National Disability and Care Alliance. We are so pleased to be able to stand here tonight and say that there will be a Royal Commission into the abuse, violence, neglect and exploitation of people with disabilities. So many disabled people and organisations have fought for this day for so long to make sure that the experiences of people with disabilities that have been overlooked can be brought out of the shadows and into the light. Abuse and neglect should always be above politics. With the over $500 million committed in this budget to a Royal Commission, we can see that there will be time for the Royal Commission to explore the broad range of issues related to the abuse and neglect of people with disabilities, and there will be proper support in place for anyone who needs to participate to be able to do so and to hear their own voices heard sometimes for the very first time. We want to see that the Royal Commission brings about not just change in what governments do, not just change in law, but critically change in Australian society to make sure that people with disabilities can lead their, li lead their lives free from violence, abuse and neglect. Were you amazed at the figure of half a billion dollars? I think it's an amazing figure and it will make sure that people with disability can get the supports that they need. Often for people with disability to participate in any kind of democratic process or inquiry, there's a need for people to have access to interpreters, to have people to support them to understand the process. And this will go a really long way to making sure that that can happen in place. Thanks for your time. My name is Kirsten Dean, and I'm the campaign director for Every Australian Counts, which is the grassroots campaign for the National Disability Insurance Scheme. The National Disability Insurance Scheme has been underspent since its inception. Every single year since it began to roll out, it hasn't spent the funding that it has been allocated. And while it's difficult to tell from this year's budget papers exactly what the underspend is, it appears to be somewhere in the vicinity of $1.6 billion. And it's really important to ask the question, why is it underspent? And it is a direct result from, with problems with the way the scheme is being rolled out around the country. It is not because people with disability and their families don't need the funds. It is because they cannot wade their way through the bureaucratic maze that is the NDIS to get the help they need. We believe that the funds tagged for the NDIS should be spent on the NDIS. <coughs> it should be spent so people with disability and their families can get the support they need. And the funds should be spent fixing up the problems with the scheme so that people get the help they need. It's completely unacceptable for people to wait two years to get a wheelchair while the government bolsters its own bottom line. Let's be clear, we're not asking for more money for the NDIS. We're simply asking that the funds that have already been allocated be spent in two ways. Supporting people with disability to get the help they need and fixing up the problems with, with the scheme. People with disability and their families deserve nothing less. Thank you. Thank you.